do or engage. This is engaged. Now, I don't want you to do this prior to engagement. Once you're engaged, you're in your counseling sessions, and they cover, our counselors cover all of this stuff. It gets real graphic. They get real graphic. Because how many know life is graphic? Yes. How many know life is graphic? Yes. Isn't it? Yes. How many know life is graphic? Yes. Life is hitting it. You know, you know, we got to stop trying to paint this little Amen. picture, this all this Amen. nice stuff. Everybody's cool, you know. He, she got a dress on. He got his tux on, you know. And they walking down. The girl got the little fly. She spread the little petals on the floor. Everybody's smiling. The little old ring bearer coming through with his ring. Everybody saying hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. He got his robe on. And then they got to live. Dragging her baggage into it. <coughs> Here, take it, leave it. <laughs> he dragged his junk into it. Amen. Wondering why half of marriages end up in divorce. Amen. This is a real thing. I'll tell you, this is a real world. Amen. Amen. Yes, sir. We gotta deal with it like it is. Like it is, like where it is. So here's number four. Once you're engaged, learn as much about sexual, about the sexual experience as you can. Our marriage counselors will provide you with much information and can also suggest you materials to read that will help with the process. You need to talk because I'm gonna tell you this. What was chic when you were not say? Can't come over in holiness. That's right. Don't work over here. This is a whole different setup, y'all. Over in here is a whole different setup. I mean, it's a whole different setup. Amen. A lot of times, especially men and all women who have been in the world, have to be re de and reprogrammed when they come in here. Amen. Let me just give y'all an example. Give you an example. This is a real clear example. Say, for instance, a man or a woman, because they come in both both sexes, was a was a, a prostitute in the world. Now that person, once they came in the church and got saved and want to get married, obviously they would have to be D and reprogrammed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A lot of counseling would have to go on, right? right. Because they have received their their information from a wrong source. Mm -hmm. And a lot of us, when we come into the church, we got to, you know, be reprogrammed, say, uh-uh, no. Amen. Amen. Because holiness is something else. That's right. I'm mean, holiness is something else. Amen. Amen. I can give you a classic example. There are some pastors, very popular pastors, very popular pastors that teach things I don't teach. Mm -hmm. They teach all sex is cool. I, I teach this is from hell. Amen. 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 Like this. Like Amen. 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 Holiness is something, y'all. There are some counselors that teach, man, you can use. I'm not saying these are Christian counselors, and that's why, if, you know, sometimes we suggest folks go to professional counselors, people that, you know, they do that for a living. But I always try to send our people to Christian counselors. Amen. Because they have a Christian mindset and background. They include the spirituality of it. Because there are some counselors, secular counselors, that teach people that, man, if your marriage needs some spicing up, Y'all get y'all some videos, <coughs> some triple X videos, and, and check them out. That'll fire you up. Come on, y'all. But that don't work in holiness. Right. Come on, that'll work over here. I'm not right about it. So what I was saying is sometimes we have to be deprogrammed and reprogrammed, depending on, you know, things past life and all that. All right? Last but not least, 